Hey guys, welcome back to Snack Time. My name is Ben, and in today's video, I'm going to take a look at Docmost, but I'm not going to really cover the product itself because David over at DB Tech, he introduced me to it, and he did an amazing job with his video, so there's really no need for me to reinvent the wheel. He does a great job of taking you through the entire platform. What I'm going to show you to do is to get it set up with Portainer and get all the traffic filtering through Nginx Proxy Manager so that we can secure it. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So the very first thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and set up our subdomain and kind of get that out of the way. So I'm going to add a new A record. I'm just going to call this docmost. And I'm going to use the IP address of my server and save my settings. Next, let's find some information about Docmost, specifically the Docker commands that we're going to need to go ahead and deploy it. So if I do a really quick search, Docmost, we got our docmost.com, and I'm gonna head over to our GitHub page. So once we get here, let's scroll down and let's find our documentation, and let's go to installation. All right, so now that we're on our document page, let's scroll down a little bit and see if we can find the information that we're going to need to give to Portainer. Right here, I have my Docker Compose YAML file. It definitely has everything that I need to create my stack in Portainer. If we scroll down a little bit more, we're also going to see some notes here, some things that we're going to have to change. We're going to have to update our, you know, the password in here for our database. We obviously don't want to leave that as default. And we're also going to, have to generate an app secret, which we can do with this Linux command, or I'm sure you can probably Google, you know, hex 32 generator and find something uh, that will also uh, fit that bill too. But other than that, we'll update our app URL so that it actually goes to our correct domain name. Okay, I think we're mostly ready to go. Let's get started here. Let's copy this. We're going to make some changes when we get it over to Portainer. When we're in Portainer, let's go to Stacks. Let's go to Add Stack. Let's paste this in here. And I'm just going to call this Docmost. A couple of things we need to update. Our HTTP local host here, that has to be changed. And we're going to leave the HTTP right where it is because Nginx is going to handle the whole uh, turning it into HTTPS for us, make it more secure but we do have to give it the proper name and that is going to be docmost.sinhow.com. This is the one that we set up under Namecheap. I leave the port the way it is. Uh, we're gonna need to generate that app secret. So I'm just going to copy this command and then I'm going to paste it into my Linux server. There's my super secret app code. Now I'm going to take it back over here to Portainer, paste it in here. Right now we have to come up with a strong database password. So I've generated a strong password. I'm going to paste it in here like so. And now I'm going to make some changes. Uh, I'm going to remove the ports because I'm going to filter all my traffic through Nginx. No real need to have any ports sitting out there open for anybody just to pop into. I'm going to change my password right here as well. That's under our database. So our, our little Postgres server here knows exactly what to make the password. Other than that, everything seems to be fine. This will automatically create our network for us. It's already going to do our volumes and it's going to do the volumes the way that I like, which is under the same volumes that I have in my Portainer installation. All right, so I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and deploy. All right, once we are done with our deployment, let's head back to our containers and let's see what we have here. I have my docmost DB that's up and going. Docmost made the main image here. That's good too. And my Redis server. All right, I'm pretty sure that uh, the traffic that I'm going to be forwarding is going to be the, to that one with the 3000 uh, Port, and that's going to be that this docmost container right here. So the one with the 3000, that's most likely where I'm going to be forwarding my traffic. 
So with that knowledge, let's copy the name of this guy right here. And also before we jump into Nginx, I also want to make sure that my Nginx proxy manager is on the same network. Uh, if I go under networks, I can see that uh, the stack generated this network called docmost underscore default. So let's go under Nginx, scroll to the bottom and let's select the docmost default network and let's join. All right. We've joined that. We've gotten an IP address. Now let's head over to the web interface and let's add our proxy host. All right. Remember the domain that we made, docmost.sendhow.com. Got that in there. HTTP, remember it was, we left that alone. So we're just gonna go there right to the, uh, the host name here. And remember the port number? Yep, that's 3000. I'm going to block common exploits. I'm going to uh, WebSocket support and let's save this. All right, so we got this set up, but I want to encrypt my traffic. Don't want anybody intercepting my notes that I'll be making. So I'm going to go under edit and SSL and let's request a new certificate. Of course, the SSL and agree to the terms of service. Awesome. All right, so we got our SSL and it's all encrypted. Let's see if we can get to our site. Looks promising. The demo gods were kind and it's now wanting me to create my own workspace. Hey, let's just call this snack time. My name? Well, it's Ben. And my email address is a Ben at snacktime.com. My password is something not too difficult to remember. <laughs> All right, we're in here. We're ready to go. I personally am looking forward to checking out this software and I'm going to probably hop on over to uh, David's channel, DB Tech, and kind of see all the different cool stuff that he has done with it so that I can use it for my own personal and professional life. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Take care until then.